Welcome back. Our next modify tool is trim and trim works like a pair of scissors. It cuts unwanted geometry and it has to use other geometry as a cutting edge. So if we go up to trim, we can see a little pull down. That pull down is extend, which we're going to cover next. So we're going to click trim. Shortcut for trim is TR. And it says select objects or brackets or the braces to select all. A lot of times what I do is I just hit enter after I enter the trim command and it basically selects any geometry in the drawing as a cutting edge and it starts to get rid of the geometry that you select. So if we were to offset this circle, let's just say a quarter of an inch and that's too far. So let's try an eighth of an inch and we'll go in. Now if I trim and hit enter, I can pick this line and it will get rid of it using this circle as a cutting edge. Now if I pick here, it will preview in that dark shade and it will get show me what it's getting rid of. Now it gives me a no symbol here because there's nothing to trim. If I wanted to get rid of this, I should have picked it first or I have to erase it. So over here, trim, 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 and so forth. Now, I can also use that to get rid of these circle segments, let's say, and then I can close that in to make that kind of a C shape there. If I don't want to have everything selected as a possible cutting edge, Let's say I just want to use these two circles. I pick those first. Those are my cutting edges. Then I hit enter and now I can pick what I want to trim. So it will not use the line here as a cutting edge. It's only using the two circles and those are denoted by being highlighted in blue. You can also remove objects with a window. So if, real quick, if we were to erase this, stretch this up real quick, copy a bunch of these over, and let's just do something that looks kind of along the lines of this. And I were to um, just make these continuous real quick. We'll cover layering later. It'll just be easier to see. So let's just say we wanted to use this line and this line as cutting edges and I wanted to get rid of all of these lines, I can pick a crossing window and now that geometry, these lines are trimmed with these two lines as my boundary. So for this example, all I would like you to do is give me something that shows me that you can trim off, let's say these lines And again, how you pick them, if you pick them with a window, if you pick them individually, it doesn't matter. But just something along the lines of that. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.